All right, Jab Man, this is Vegeta8259, obviously. And this is a video response to your, uh, I guess you didn't really ask a question. It was just kind of a statement. Anyway, this is a response to your video about the 2010 uh, Master Grade Kit of the Year. <clears throat> and uh, there were a lot of good Master Grades this year. Um, Master Grade Wing Gundam, uh, Musha Mark II, Full Armor Gundam, uh, VO, Death Scythe, Double O Quanta. Um, there was a lot of good kits to pick from. Uh, some of you might ask, uh, why didn't I say the red frame? Well, the red frame is more or less a recolor slash remold of the blue frame, which came out last year, so I don't really count that because it's 75% the same kit as the blue frame, which was, uh, arguably the kit of the year last year. <clears throat> so, uh, I actually, uh, personally, I have to agree with Jabman, uh, Master Grade Wing Gundam, for me, was kit of the year, uh, mostly just because I'm such a Gundam Wing fanatic, um, and I think a lot of people really uh, were excited about that kit, and I think a lot of people bought it because a lot of North American Gundam fans uh, started out with Wing Gundam because that was the first Gundam Wing series. Gundam Wing series. That was the first Gundam series that aired here in North America. So a lot of us uh, first got into Gundam because of Gundam Wing, and a lot of us were excited to see a Master Grade Wing Gundam finally get made. And then uh, Death Scythe uh, in September, so we've had a great year, us Gundam Wing fans. So for me personally, uh, Master Grade Wing Gundam was kit of the year. However, I think overall, uh, Jabman, you mentioned this uh, in your video, that uh, kind of going beyond just Master Grades and looking at the other, you know, Perfect Grade Strike Freedom and all that other stuff, um, I think that overall the kit of the year uh, is probably ought to be uh, the real grade Gundam which came out in July because that kit got a lot of hype and uh, a lot of times kits when they a lot of times kits will get a lot of hype and then not really live up to it like perfect grade double riser um, but the real grade got a lot of hype and for the most part it pretty much lived up to it because a lot of people were talking about that kit when it uh, before it came out a lot of people bought it when it did come out and for the most part I think a lot of people were pretty satisfied with it I didn't hear many complaints about that kit at all except for the knee joint thing but really I think that's mostly people just being too rough with their kits but anyway topic for another video so uh, I think that uh, overall the kit of the year is going to have to go to real grade Gundam. Uh, Jam Man, I know you didn't get one because you're a, a 1 to 100 scale guy, but like I said, you were opening up to uh, others to include different grades and scales and things like that. Uh, Strike Freedom, I mean, that might end up being kit of the year. I don't know. We've still got, what, two, three weeks left in December. Uh, it looks like a fantastic kit. I'm not going to be getting it because I don't want to pay that much for uh, a Strike Freedom. Uh, I'm kind of financially uh, limited right now anyway. Anyway, uh, don't get me wrong, Strike Freedom looks like an amazing model kit. It looks better than Double R Riser in my opinion. Um, and you know, by the time all the reviews of that kit come out, it may end up being kit of the year. I don't know, but right now I'm going to say real grade Gundam just because it was reasonably priced uh, it was really inventive uh, making more or less a master grade in 1 to 144 scale it had a lot of hype and it actually lived up to it and uh, I think that makes it kit of the year for 2010 so anyway that's enough of me rambling on and uh, I guess with that I will see you guys next time